Welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys. So it is July 16th. As you all know, these readings are timeless. Whenever you watch these is exactly when you're supposed to hear this message, okay? may not make sense today, but, you know, listen to it again in the future, and you may realize what it is that I was talking about, okay? So these are not usually just a one-day reading. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. Depends on what your timeline is. Spirit, please show me for July 16th what messages, what guidance do we have to collect for the collective? What messages do they need to hear? July 16th, Spirit, please show me. This one's holding out. The energy is gaining momentum. So I think, I feel like things are happening, starting to happen very quickly. Uh, things are starting to move forward. It's like, yeah, it's time to take action. So if you have Aries in your chart, or you could be dealing with an Aries, or you could, uh, This could have to do with a man coming into your life, some type of a man. This could, There could be an importance around a man um, coming into your life. The energy is gaining momentum. Let's read the waxing moon. Okay, I'm waning. Waxing. So it says, during the waxing moon cycle, hope springs eternal. This card is a very positive omen, indicating that you can create the reality you're dreaming of, though it will take some work and you're not quite there yet. This is a time of energies rising up. Emotions are building too. Where do you want to go and do you believe you can get there? Either you can just keep meditating and focusing on your desired outcome or you can make the courageous commitment to take more practical steps towards your goals. Whichever you decide, you are most certainly on the right track. And that's what this whole card, you know, about taking action is about using that masculine energy to take action towards whatever it is that you want. Knowing that at the end of the day, there's a win-win forecast open for you. Uh, you know, whatever situation you're working on, it is full of potential. So don't give up. Maybe you're seeing some roadblocks. Things are happening very uh, slowly, slow and steady, but you're seeing things working out. Um, so keep that in mind as you guys are moving forward. Your dreams definitely can come true. More effort is required. Are you willing to give the effort that is required of you? Okay. So it's like for whatever it is, you know, we just had Mars and Venus on Tuesday conjunct in the sky. So, you know, whether that's, you know, bringing a relationship together or, you know, some type of an investment or, you know, investing in a new business. It could be any one of those types of things. And it's like, you know, are you willing to put in the work? How far are you willing to go? And it's like, if you're going to start seeing everything start speeding up as well with the energy is gaining momentum. So keep moving forwards. That's what Aries is all about. Aries is all about movement forward. They don't look back. Okay. They don't look back. They're not worried about what's going on or whatever happened in the past. They're not going to focus on any of that. They're just going to keep moving forward. So, um, it's a very empowered and empowering time. This is a very promising card. It suggests that now is the time to make plans and to act on them no matter when you actually pull this card. So I am saying with that Mars Venus, if you guys have been using this energy correctly, I definitely feel like you could be moving things forward, like forward momentum right now. Like you could be getting a lot of things off the ground right now, any type of investments. So keep that in mind as you're moving forward. Spirit, please show me one card. There it is. All right, so we have the yin energy in the reverse, okay? So we have the masculine energy with the Aries card here, and we have the yin energy here. So, you know, maybe it, you need to take on your feminine ener or more masculine energy to get things going. Like it was saying, you know, this is not a time to sit and wait for, you know, being in receptive mode. This is a time for action. This is a time for you to get out there and make things happen for yourself. Yin energy is like that flow. Oh, 
I'll just wait for this person to come in. And it's like, no, get out there, take action. You know, the feminine, you get to sit back and just, re you know, reap the rewards unless you actually have it, are, you know, supposed to be stepping into your masculine energy and making something happen in your life. Okay. So keep that in mind because I do feel like there's a deep knowing of what it is that you need to do. Let's read the yin energy because it is in the reverse. We're going to read the, the protection message that there it is. So it is the number two in the reverse. Protection message of this card says, do you have trouble receiving? You stop the flow of abundance when you continually insist upon being the giver. You can't always lead, always give, always teach. You must be the student, the open vessel, and the one who receives the gift. Gesture or offer in equal measure. Open up and let love, life, abundance, and spirit fill you without demand or expectation, just receiving the bounty that is yours. So for some of you feminines, you've really had to step into your masculine role. And I feel like for those of you who are, you know, single, I feel like there's a masculine here that wants to come in and do something nice for you. And I feel like you need, you know, to allow that to happen. You know, you don't always have to be the giver in this relationship. And I feel like, you know, there's a masculine here that wants to come in and show you that you're worthy of of these gifts so I feel like just stand down feminine you don't always have to do everything okay so keep that in mind as you're moving forward uh, let's go ahead and pull an energy oracle spirit oh, there it is wow okay wow you got door to value so someone here does value you and look at this victory door to value listen you guys if you are worried about any type of a work endeavor any type of you know something that you are investing in, I feel like there is a victory here. There's success. This is the door to value. This is, you know, talking about, um, you know, going out, you know, with your mind on my, on your money and your money on your mind. Like, I feel like, listen, things might start feeling like they're taking off in just amazing directions, but I feel like, let it just go with it. Okay. Don't try to control it. And I feel like it's going to take you into some very exciting, amazing, beautiful spaces. Uh, it's just not going to look the way that it's used to looking. I do feel like for some of you, there could be a windfall of money here, okay? Um, make sure that you're not losing money also, um, especially when I'm seeing the cup, you know, tipped over and then I see the money falling out. So, you know, I just got feminines. Be careful not to drop your purse and maybe drop your money out of your purse, okay? Um... But I do feel like, let's go ahead and read the victory card. It's the number 28. 28 is a 10. 10 is the ending, the completion, but also uh, a finalization and a brand new beginning at that. So with, okay, here we go. Um, no. So with the victory card, it says, this card shows a beautiful spirit holding a golden victory wreath in acknowledgement of your achievement. Success is on its way, and you have a sense of pride in what you've worked to accomplish. Sorry, you guys, about the glare. To achieve, uh, to the achievement may be a greater outer success, or it may be a deep inner change that you've been even exerting a lot of effort toward. Enjoy some sense of accomplishment, but be careful not to rest upon your laurels. People expect outer triumph to bring great changes, but often there may still be inner work to do. Let yourself be open to victory on every level now, okay? And the number 31 says, new beginnings in finance or career. So I did say, I feel like for some of you, it's like you're going out, you're starting a new business, and you are putting in investments in your business right now, okay? Uh, you know, I feel like, you know, you can't wait for things to come to you. You need to take charge, and you need to take action, and you need to get going, because things are going to start speeding up, and it's just to get this ball rolling. It's like, if you started it, especially at that Mars Venus, get prepared, because this shit is just going to start spiraling, and you're going to be like, holy shit, what just happened? So it says, this card shows a do uh, door with a gold coin uh, on it, opening to a place that's filled with light and bright potential. Money, coins, and jewels fly towards you through the open door, revealing a golden city beyond. 
All of this points to the potential for exciting new beginnings or expansions where work or money are concerned. Perhaps a new opportunity is totally unexpected, or perhaps it's something you've been working toward for quite a while. Either way, keep your eyes open for this new beginning to appear in your life. Know that anything you value may be open to you now. Remain conscious and creative and get ready to step through the door, okay? Step through the door to success. There is a victory here. Do not be afraid of moving forward, no matter how fast you think things are going. Your affirmation for this card says, my life is opening up to endless possibilities of prosperity. The river of abundance flows freely through my door, bringing me unlimited wealth. You know, I remember one time I was sitting in the bank with my daughter and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to start manifesting money. And this lady walked, got up at that very moment and she had a stack of money and she walks right over to that, that thing, that, you know, counter in the bank and she puts it in there and I just see it flip, 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 flip. And in my mind, I watched the money flip from that, uh, tool or whatever it's called, that computer thing, the, the counter, uh, as I call it. And I imagined it just flipping right into my bank account, each one of them. And in doing so, like I'm, I'm manifesting that to go in there, you know, and it does not have to be just money, but it's like, you know, looking at it as a, a never ending flowing abundance. Okay. I've been going out, I've been working my ass off. It's like, you know, I'm not sitting around expecting, you know, money just to drop into my account. And that's the way it is too. It's like, if you're wanting something, you're going to have to go after it. You're going to have to get excited and you're going to have to move forward. Okay. So keep that in mind as we are moving forward. But I do feel victory. You know, Aries is about war. It's about passion. It's Mars ruled. It's that masculine energy. And I do feel, you know, that, you know, Mars is behind Venus right now. So I'm actually surprised. And maybe the feminine is tired. Maybe she has no more to give. Maybe there's something that she has to like give up the reins and let this masculine do it for her. And I feel like, you know, the two of you guys working together uh, could bring some type of stability. And the two of you guys showing that you guys can work together, you know, it's like one person when you can't do it, letting, allowing a masculine to do it. It's like, listen here, feminines, you guys have been masculine long enough. And if there's a masculine out there that can actually take care of some business, you don't always have to work so hard. So let somebody else take the reins. Okay. So let me go ahead and look here. Spirit, any cards for what was it? February. And what are we on? Oh my God. February what? Um, 16th. I mean, oh my God, February, July 16th. So something might be coming up February 16th. Maybe you know somebody, maybe you were born on February 16th uh, or fe February 16th could be relevant to somebody here. Um, that might be very, obviously is very, quite specific. It does not mean that this is for everyone. So let's look at July 16th, Spirit. Please show me July 16th. What messages do we have for July 16th? I thought I saw one flip. I did not. So Spirit, please show me July 16th, please. Wow. Five of pentacles. Okay. Somebody here feeling left out in the cold. Uh, also feeling, okay, there's poverty. I feel like you are coming out of this poverty, feeling left out in the cold. I feel like, you know, maybe for some of you, maybe somebody here is wounded and needs help. And so there's someone here who is coming in to help. Spirit, please show me. Okay. Wow. There it is. Three of pentacles. So some type of work collaboration. That's what I'm saying. I feel like somebody is coming in to help you with something and there's going to be some type and it's to get you out of this poverty. I feel like, wow. Ace of wands there too. And then we do have the chariot. Okay. Nine of cups, something here that makes you very extremely happy. It is connected to this taking time, uh, taking action. Um, I feel like, you know, maybe there is some type of a, you know, ace of wands and the chariot here. Maybe you could be, you know, starting a business. Maybe it's a transportation business. You know, it could be, you know, any one of those things. Maybe you've decided you're going to become a mechanic. Uh, you know, maybe somebody here is a mechanic and they're going to be coming in to help you. Maybe you need to contact a mechanic. Um, I feel like this person, you know, if, if you're feeling like you don't have the money to, you know, pay this mechanic, I feel like this person is still going to come in and help you. Okay. Uh, they want to collaborate with you and they have an offer for 
for you. Um, so I do feel like, you know, there is something here. There could also be something here to do with paperwork, some type of forms. I feel like this is definitely something that is very exciting for you. Uh, I do. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. So it is some type of an investment that you are investing in. I do feel like it has some type of, you know, this has a lot to do with, I, I feel like it's an investment. Okay. I'm really getting investment for some of you. You're buying a brand new car. Okay. There's for some of you, maybe you're starting a business with a car. When I see the pentacles here, maybe you are doing this for residual income. So you're going to be working with other people. Okay. Uh, I am seeing that here as well. And I do see an influx of money. So for those of you who are doing that, I see an influx of money and it's like, maybe you don't see what's going on behind that curtain, but there is something coming in for you. And what is that? An opportunity of a brand new path. It's because of some type of information that came in that is going to bring some type of stability. Okay. So I do want to say that whatever this is, congratulations. I do feel like when I look at here, I see the chariot and the victory card. The chariot is victory. The chariot rolls through with victory and success. It rolls over whatever is in the way. It doesn't, it stops at nothing. That is victory. It doesn't mean that you hurt people along the way. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, I do want to say that here, uh, you know, whatever it is, you are upping the value or you're upping your own value or somebody sees the value in you. You know, they see you as somebody that they want to, um, they want to invest in, you know, whether that's in a relationship, whether that's a business partnership, there is something here about somebody seeing you as somebody that they value and somebody that values themselves and values the things that they have, values the things that they do. So I really like this energy for you guys. Uh, you know, the energy is definitely gaining momentum. Things are going to start moving forward very, very quickly. If this is about a relationship, I feel like the two of you guys uh, could definitely be a power couple. I think that bringing the two of your energies together uh, is something that could be, you know, last the test of time. You know, um, I feel like this masculine wants to take care of this feminine when I see the masculine in the overall energy and the feminine is, in, but there's victory next to this woman. You know, maybe things are happening so fast out of this woman's control and this masculine is like coming in to save the day. Uh, that's nice, you know, especially rolling in on his chariot, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cute. I'm not going to lie to the vision that I'm seeing. So um, absolutely darling here, you guys. I love this story for you. Don't even mind the five of pentacles. I feel like the five of pentacles is, you know, um, for some of you, if you maybe... Um, for some of you, I, okay, this is a whole nother story. I feel like there's an opportunity of a brand new beginning for you. Uh, if you're willing to leave the situation that you're in. Okay. I feel like maybe this feminine has had enough. She's fed up. She has no more love for this situation. There's too much fighting. And I feel like what she's realizing is that she's going to be able to save a lot more money or she's valuing herself by getting in her chariot and moving away. Uh, this is kind of like a runoff from yesterday's reading too, you guys. So keep that in mind. Um, I feel like you are going towards a soulmate, a uh, friendship group, any one of those things. I think that there's someone here that could help you. Spirit, please show me their love life for July 16th. Wow. Okay. July 16th. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So it's time Time for you to clear the past as well. Anything that has made you feel left out in the cold, I feel like it is time for you to release your ex and you're going to be really happy that you did. Spirit, please show me for July 16th. Wow, wedding. So this situation involves marriage. And let's just go ahead and pull one more card out. Okay, Spirit, retreat. Uh, it's time to disconnect from the world and codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life right now. So here's the deal. For some of you, I'm going to go back to exactly what I was just talking about. I think that this is a runoff of yesterday's reading. Uh, so this is not going to apply for everyone. Um, I do feel like somebody here has decided that they value themselves. Someone here is walking away from someone because of codependency issues. Now, whether this is drugs, sex, alcohol, you know, pornography, it could be a shopping addiction, any one of those things. Uh, I do feel like they are ready to walk away from this relationship. They're going to turn this marriage into an ex partnership. Uh, someone here is finally retreating. I do see that as I'm looking at the chariot. Okay. I feel like someone here is getting in their car and they are driving away. 
from this relationship. I think that someone here is going to help you. I feel like things are going to just start spiraling out of control and you're going to have to keep up um, with this situation. Okay, so that is for some of you. For others of you, I feel like um, when I look at this situation, um, make sure, I, I don't, I'm not really feeling it. I feel like there's an interdependence. I feel like there's a lack of codependency. I feel like what I'm getting here for the other people who's has somebody helping them, I feel like your codependency is by being non, like not codependent. It's like, I'm kind of getting like, you stopped asking other people for help because you got tired of being disappointed. Okay. That's what I'm getting out of this. And so I do feel like there is someone here who is willing to come towards you. Okay. Trap. Maybe they even have to travel to come and see you. When I see the retreat, I feel like this person is coming in. Okay. And I feel like this person is nothing like your past. Um, I do feel like this person is here because they want to collaborate and help you with some type of an investment, with some type of something, or they want to invest in you and they want to invest in this relationship. So like I said, I feel like this person does definitely value you and they realize, you know, the value and, and the, the, the work that they want to put in. And I feel like it, it, it's almost like they see you as it's like this no brainer. It's like, they don't even think twice of it. Maybe you're the one who's like codependent on thinking about the past and how, you know, you know, people from the past have never helped you or your exes or whatever. And so you're kind of stuck on that. I almost want to say, let that shit go. You know, don't continue to allow that to dictate your future. You guys, this is a very beautiful reading today. I really like this reading nine of cups at the end of the day. It's time. You know, I feel like it, it is time to start taking action, um, moving things forward. I feel like uh, at the end of the day, you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot, okay? Um, and this is a nice way to end the week and go into our weekend. So hold this this feeling that you have within yourself because it could be very exciting. Um, do not sabotage this by Saturday. You could definitely sabotage this by Saturday if you're not careful, but just keep holding this because I feel like Saturday is definitely going to be like the, the game changer. Okay. There's definitely going to be a test here and it's a game changer for you. This is absolutely exciting. I love you guys very, very much. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information is down below. You guys like this this video. I really appreciate it. It does help my channel grow. Um, it gets me into the algorithm. I guess it's something that we have to do in order to even get these, you know, uh, <laughs> um, these channels off the ground. Anyway, you guys, if I can help any one of you guys at any point in time, you guys know how to contact me. I love you all and take care. Happy Friday.